Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Navigate your rep website to find something. I'm looking for a it's the cylindrical latch set um, with a, a uh, storage room function. But uh, the door is too, I'm going to need an extra long spindle because the door is two and three quarter inch thick. Did you say cylindrical? Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. It's just going to be a made to order lock. You'll need to also <sighs> order a coal shovel. I don't know what that is. A coal shovel? That's what the engineer used when he put coal into the burner and the steam <laughs> motor. That's how much cash it's going to take to buy that lock. Um, so don't they? Don't they? Tell, can't you just get like? <laughs> what's the door made of? Oh, good gosh! It's um, I mean, it's just a wood door. Okay, um, but I don't. But I'm not looking. Yeah, I don't, I'm trying to find something that that I can get quickly. Is yeah. the problem? Yeah. Um. So, what about routing the face of the door to partially mortise the roses so that it thinks it's a thinner door? Maybe. Is the door already prepped? I tell you what, I got going here. It's <laughs> oh Lord, it's a it's a door. It's a it's a door that goes to a electric or an elevator equipment room. Actually, it's an electrical room for the building. And this designer, I didn't even realize this. They came out and they go, yeah, it's got to be a self latching locking door, like a storeroom function on this door, right? Right now, we, <laughs> it's just a big thick door that's going to. They, they wanted it to disappear, so just like a little brass pole thing and a and a dead deadbolt that bolts into the floor. So when it's done, the face of that door is getting covered with wall covering, and it's supposed what to isn't, isn't disappear. That a fire door? No, it's not a fire door. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, no. Yeah, so, you know, the standard doors are going to go up to just two inch. So, um, or two and an eighth, something in that range. So if you were to, you know, route the face of that door, but if you're not supposed to see any trim, well, why, why does it have to be latching? Why not hold it closed by using a, a more concealed means? Well, it's got to be when it, it's got to be self-locking. Like when you close the, what they don't want, I, I guess they want it so that when somebody comes out and they close the door, that they don't want, don't want them to have to have a special key to come lock it. Because what I guess by code. What they don't want is somebody like, oh, they forgot to lock the door, and then somebody walks into the lobby, opens the door, and gets in there and fools around with the elevator, oh. shuts the elevator off. That's that's what I wanted so that it's self-latching like the, yeah, and locking kind of thing. There's no doubt that that door is supposed to be fire rated if it's an elevator access door. No question. And it's probably supposed to be three hour would be my guess. But... Why, why does it have to be latching, meaning if all it has to do is have security over it, why not install a deadbolt that all you see there is just a mortise cylinder? Why any trim at all? Other than pulling the door open. Well, I mean, do they make a deadbolt that when you push the door closed that you don't have to use a key to lock it? <laughs> uh, Yes. Uh, yeah, you could. Well, it but then, be, yeah. Andrews, would it be yes. a, yeah, there are there are slam latches. Schleich makes a slam latch. And so, two and three quarter yeah. would be no problem. So, could, from the inside, then, it was just a thumb turn? Or a cylinder. Well, I'd rather make it a 
like like key. I guess it would have to be key outside thumb turning because I think they also want it so that somebody can't get locked in there, right? So that yeah. they don't have to have a. So if you close the door and it latches yeah. shut, you got you can't use a key from the inside. It has to be a thumb turn. Yeah, well, you could put a thumb turn in there, but generally those doors are depending on how many um, amps are in that room. Uh, you might need an exit device, which actually, in fact would likely be the most elegant way to do it. An exit device on the inside and nothing other than a rim cylinder on the outside. You just push the door closed and bam, you're latched. And you've got emergency egress. <laughs> and if you want to get super fancy, you could do electric latch retraction and have nothing on the outside other than some sort of proximity reader. You know, then, you know, you might be able to get, um, depends on how much they want to see on the ingress side. Yeah, they, what they, what they, had, like I said, they, they, right now we have like a, I can send a picture to you, but it, right now what they have is a, is a, like a roller catch thing that's on the, like on the strike of the door, right? And we have this little modified, like a little dark, you know, aura bronze pole that sticks out like three quarters of an inch. It has a little curve to it. So that when you close the door, you pull the door closed and it just, that roller catch keeps it into place, right? And then down at the floor, they came up with a, you know, they had us put a, a basically a dead bolt that bolts into the floor, like way down on the bottom by the floor. Yeah, sure. So thinking, right, nobody, people hardly ever need to get in there, and only the guy that owns the building or his maintenance guy would ever need to get in there. So, And so they, when, you, when you look at the wall, like on the door, it's like you really don't see anything except the little skinny little dark bronze pole thing that's sticking out, like a latch height, and then this little round thing down at the floor for that deadbolt. So I guess you're right. I guess you could put just a regular, like a rim mount panic on the inside of that dang door, right? Exactly. So when the door... Just a rim cylinder. So, but this door swings in, and that's the side that you oh. have to put... That's the problem. <laughs> oh, the door swings in. Oh, that's yeah, great. Sorry. Um, okay, sorry. sure. So, yeah, you could do a slam latch. Um, it'll have a thumb turn on the inside. Um, you know, it... I, I guess the question is is how much how little hardware do they want to see on the on the exterior side of that opening? Well, that I mean the minimum, right? So with the slam latch all you're gonna see is a, just this one small cylinder to put a key in, right? Yeah, I mean that'll stick off the face of the door a particular amount. Uh won't be able to draw that super flush. But, you know, just like B two fifty series, those are easy. They're in stock. Um, the door thickness is no problem because longer tail pieces and screws is all that's needed. Um, they're not inexpensive. They used to be. They were never inexpensive, but now they're just obscenely expensive. But it's fairly elegant. Um, can you send me an email with what that looks like, or can I find it yeah. pretty easily? Or uh, Yeah, tell me your email. I'll send it to you. It's Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. There was a follow-up conversation with the client, and that conversation resulted in the client ordering the Schlage B250. We ordered it with the um, suffix for the no hold back. And bear with me, I want to give you what that... I know it's XB something. Yeah, so the client ordered the B250 P6, so it's going to have a typical C keyway. Uh, with the suffix XB09 062, that's the no hold back uh, uh, thumb turn by door thickness, two and three quarter, by EE for equally extended, and then an oil rub bronze. The client was under very clear direction from the authority having jurisdiction that the 
in no circumstances could it ever be left unlocked. Meaning every time the door closes, it will latch. Um, I, I should say not left unlocked, left unlatched. Uh, and that slam latch uh, does that, so it's, it's okay for that. The client was really clear about it not needing to be fire rated, although the fact that it needs to latch every time the door is closed, and it's an elevator mechanical room, none of that jives, really. Um, the, and that's okay in the sense of that's what he's been told that he has to provide. It would also be accurate to say that that Schlage B250 is not a UL listed lock. We can do a UL listed version of that. Marks makes one, and I've used it on fire rated Dutch doors in the past as a way to secure the top leaf into the lower leaf. Um, but that's how that conversation turned out. If there's any questions on that Schlage B250 series or any other Schlage product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.